former Bush and McCain cabinet members say, eh. And again, it's not us yeah. saying so, John Hammond. That is a bulletin released to all law enforcement earlier this week that there is, until the end of April, a persistent threat of domestic extremism, domestic uh, terrorism carried out in the ideology and around this belief that the election um, was fraudulent, that the COVID restrictions are unnecessary. All of those ideologies pushed by Donald Trump. But, but my question for you is around incitement. Um, we had a policy, and it was very controversial. It was carried out under the Bush years and under the Obama years of attacking terrorism at its root, of going after and killing, um, and in the case of Amr al awlaki an American, a Yemeni American, with a drone strike for the crime of inciting violence, inciting terrorism. Mitch McConnell was in the Senate then. He was in the Senate after 9-11, too. How does Mitch McConnell, who understands that the way you root out terrorism is to take on, in the case of Islamic terrorism, kill those who incite it, how does he not vote to convict someone that he said on the floor of the Senate incited an insurrection? <laughs> But wait, it gets better. Watching the Super Bowl and seeing so many people in one place is making my heart race. It feels unsafe. And I guess I'm rooting for the team with the racist name over the team with the Trump-loving QB. They trying to silence me, but I won't let it happen. Smooth criminal adult Michael Jackson. We non-fiction in a world that's full of capping. Give an Oscar to these people because they acting. Move different in this tent.